I swear, if I can come out of this video and somehow make this character look good, y'all owe me an apology. <gasps> oh, oh. Wait a minute. Oh, you look beautiful. What is it? Are you going to the gym? What's going? What is going on, huh? What are you doing? Tell me what you do. So the other night I was on TikTok way beyond my bedtime and I came across some new OC challenges. Pretty sure the last time I did this, we ended up with a furry. Please. Please don't let it be a furry again. For those of you who don't know what a pause OC challenge is, it's basically these short TikTok videos where you let the video play. It's gonna give you these different categories and you pause at a random moment and that is the color of the skin. Three, two, one, pause. And there, that's the hair. Very simple, very easy, but sometimes you get unexpected results. I've not tried this video out before, so let's get started. Let's see what we can make. Tell me what to do, TikTok. Skin. Three, two, one. Pause. Gray. Ugh. Sorry, I, I, I didn't mean it like that. I got nothing against gray people. If you're gray, dude, you do you, man. I, I understand. Maybe let's draw in the sketch of the outline of this character first, and then we can just apply the gray skin. All right, there's a gray character. Um, What's next? Color palette. Three, two, one, pause. Oh, <laughs> I always do this every single time. I have the reflexes of a boomer. Right, let's try that again. Three, two, one, pause. Oh, not bad. So we have a teal color. We have a, a very dark, uh, almost black, very light color here and pink and yellow. Next up, we got hair. Pause. Ooh. Am I actually getting good props today? Oh my goodness. Are the RNG gods finally playing in my favor? Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's see what's next. Accessories. Pause. 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 <coughs> pause. Glasses. Maybe we'll do round glasses like Harry. Harry? Is that you, Harry? All right, boom. Glasses. Looks nice. Would be nicer if she could just see. Style. Three, two, one. Pause. Oh, that's kind of sick. Look at that. It's like a steampunk kind of vibe. I like it. In this case, we'll give her some fancier glasses. Okay, she's going to be set in a steampunk world. Let's give her a nice steampunky kind of uh, shirt. Okay, so those are all the prompts. Now we got to somehow work these colors into the character. Now, um, the light color, you know where I'm going to put that. Nice. Very nice. It would not be a cool OC without some white hair. On this channel, we appreciate the grandma. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty good. Um, let's take the yellow and add that to the gold frame for the glasses. Boom! That might be a bit too yellow. So okay, we'll fix that later. Um, so red, I think that would be a really good color to use for the uh, clothing. Or should I use blue? Should I use blue? No, that's... No. Okay, so we'll go with the red and then um, for the layer on top, this layer is going to be black. There we go. So I'm going to start a new layer here, use a multiply layer and add some shadows on top. But I feel like this is really interesting. You know, this gray skin on the character combined with a steampunk vibe. Maybe this character is a doll of some kind. Maybe some mechanical doll created by a mad scientist. Could be a very interesting concept. Maybe it's a doll who comes to life and realizes that um, she is sentient and uh, wants to be part of the world. But the world is cruel and uh she searches for a place where she belongs she just lives the life of a social outcast she's just very socially awkward because she was not raised as a human kind of similar to my own backstory i'm gonna keep the sketch relatively rough but i do want to add some details that maybe hint at her backstory oh yeah that's nice so i'm gonna add in some warm ambient lighting here kind of like the light you might see from a fireplace okay you know what's missing here right now some highlights this is a good trick to get anything to look shiny just get that high contrast highlight on there boom look at that so shiny shinier than your bald dad's head of course we can't limit the shiny just to the glasses okay let's get that on the eyes too you can get some highlights on the nose as well just like that some highlights on the lips all right here's a nice shiny pendant for her looks fantastic uh she needs something else though she needs panel lines there we go oh that looks nice boom there's the character from our very first prompt now you guys decide is she a good guy or a bad guy what's what's the deal here what's her story now, the more i look at her the more creepier she looks so maybe she is uh evil i don't know she's kind of creepy anyways let's try another one this one's from this is the same person who made me draw the furry last time let's see how we do for this one. <laughs> oh boy body pause no why is it wet Oh. Okay, we are not off to a good start. Body is wet. <laughs> I'm gonna just do some placeholders here. Uh, so here's a little bit of drip. This is ridiculous. Next up, we've got hair. Pause. A freaking mullet. Okay, there's the mullet. Eyes. 
I can work with that. You know what? That's not the worst. I just don't understand why she's got to be wet. And I know what you guys are probably thinking, but first of all, get your head out of the gutter. Seek help. Go touch some photosynthesizing organisms. But you know what? Maybe she is a superhero and being wet is her superpower. She joins the firefighters to fight fire because she's <laughs> she's wet. <laughs> Oh god, what is this ridiculous? Okay, let's roll with that story, huh? If she's gonna be a firefighter, she's gotta be buff. Buff, wet, firefighting woman. So I'm just gonna make a note here about the eyes to make sure I color them correctly. Uh, next up, we've got accessories. Pause. What is that? Are those goggles? Guys, it seems like everything's just working out in our favor today. Goggles firefighting. It works. Oh, I'm kind of happy about that, actually. Uh, this is pretty good. Props. Pause. A frying pan? That'll have to do. <laughs> Maybe she can be wearing it on her back. Maybe the pan shields her from the fire and uh, just in case she rescues someone and they're very thirsty, she can boil water for them on the pan. Look, don't think too deeply, okay? It's just, I Clothes. Pause. My choice. Okay, uh, she's wet, so maybe we can give her a wetsuit. There you go, here's a wetsuit, okay? Hope you guys are happy. Expression. Excited. If you want to draw an excited expression, generally you want to raise the eyebrows up a bit. You want to open the eyes up a little bit more, maybe open the mouth a bit. And that's all the prompts for this challenge. Okay, let's get started with the coloring then. I'm thinking we could use this gold for the hair because I'm really getting a uh, 1980s vibe from the mullet here. And I think uh, why not lean into that? Take the orange color here, apply to the wetsuit because orange makes me think about firefighters. It's a very emergency services kind of color. Um, I'm thinking we could use use that green for the goggles and some teal in that glass right there it looks nice we can also use a darker shade of this green in the eyes god it's impossible to make this frying pan look good you know what maybe we should just put it on our head use it as a hat i swear if i can come out of this video and somehow make this character look good y'all owe me an apology um maybe handle backwards you know she's a, she's a bit of a rebel we're gonna make it nice and shiny it's gotta be a non-stick high grade frying pan let's add in some shadows here I'm gonna cover the whole character and give her a bottom up kind of fire lighting. Boom! Look at that. Beautiful. Time to add details. Y'all know what this means. We gotta add in the shiny. Here's the shiny. I love the combination of strange costumes, backstory, and expression for this character. It's like she's very excited to see you trapped in this fire. All right, that looks good. Just one more crucial element for this character. Wet. All right, let's get some streaks of water here. This is so ridiculous. Okay, there's our streaks of water. Let's start a new layer. I'll add in some highlights and some shadows. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with the uh, streaks of water on this character. Let's add some highlights. Let's see if we can flesh this out. Please don't demonetize me. This is not what it looks like. There's our firefighting, pan-wielding, goggle-wearing, wet woman. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this process. If you're in the middle of an art block right now, this is a great way to get out of it. It'll help you create some wonderful OCs. So let me know which one's your guys' favorite. Do you like the doll or do you prefer something a little bit more quirky? like the wet woman. I regret this every time. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. I am now one step closer to insanity and uh, <laughs> I love you guys. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Check out my Patreon for monthly tutorials and uh, I'll see you guys <laughs> on the next video. These always turn out so weird. <sighs>